This is Jupiter Today for the 6th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west. EO begins the day, or Europa begins the day in quadrant four, heading east, as well as Ganymede and Callisto. At six hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant three, heading west, but near its western elongation. Europa has now moved behind Jupiter and is in quadrant one, heading east. And at 8.54 UTC, Ganymede goes through an apogee, and that's 1,072,740.2 kilometers. And at 12 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. And at 13.52 UTC, EO goes through an apogee, and that's at 423,545.8 kilometers. And by 18 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant four, heading east, going to be moving behind Jupiter. Ganymede has moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto is moving behind Jupiter, going into quadrant one, heading east. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is just at its eastern elongation and is going to be moving into quadrant two, heading west. Ganymede now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. And Callisto still has a little bit of time behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view. This blue line is the line of sight to the Earth, and the gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. There are nine Jupiter satellite events today. At 1.49 UTC, Europa moves behind Jupiter. At 5.59 UTC, Europa reappears from Jupiter's shadow. At 12.29 UTC, Ganymede moves behind Jupiter. At 1637 UTC, Callisto moves behind Jupiter. At 1811 UTC, Io moves behind Jupiter. At 1849 UTC, Ganymede reappears from Jupiter's shadow. At 2109 UTC, Io reappears from Jupiter's shadow. At 2126, Callisto reappears from behind Jupiter. And at 2254 UTC, Callisto moves into the shadow of Jupiter. And there are four satellite mutual events today. From 0 hours 19 minutes to 0 hours 21 minutes UTC, EO occults Europa. It's a 1.7 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.898 arc seconds and a very shallow magnitude flux drop of 0.021 magnitudes. And this event is 21.94 arc seconds from Jupiter. And the visibility of this event is Western Europe, Western Africa, Eastern North America, and a lot of South America will see this event. From 114 to 118 UTC, EO eclipses Europa, and it's a 4.1 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.518 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.357 magnitudes but it's very, very close to Jupiter, 7.59 arc seconds. But Io and Europa are pretty far apart, 31.61 arc seconds. And visibility of this, Western Europe, Western Africa, a little bit more of North America, and quite a bit of South America. From 450 to 458 UTC, Io 
Occult Ganymede. It's a 7.7 .7 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.082 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.36 magnitudes and it's a good distance away from Jupiter, 88.49 arc seconds. Visibility of this event is North America and most of South America. And the fourth event today goes from 634 to 645 UTC and that's when EO eclipses Ganymede. It's an 11 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.017 arc seconds and a nice deep eclipse of 0.977 magnitudes and it's a good distance away from Jupiter as well, 67.81 arc seconds and EO and Ganymede are 35.76 arc seconds apart. And visibility of this is extreme western South America and most of North America. You folks in Hawaii will be able to see this event as well. Okay, orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four moons of Jupiter. So here's Io and Europa and Io and Ganymede. Eo and Callisto, Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all of these and colorize them a little bit to get that for today. All right, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Let's just sit back and watch today. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 5.33 and the second at 15.28 UTC. There were some new images posted. And there was some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, seven minutes, 30.6 seconds, and declination of positive 17 degrees, 32 minutes, 5.1 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 149.231 degrees, and that's 1.101 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle at zero hours UTC today is 5.454 degrees, and that's 0.179 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 667,837,073 kilometers, and that's 1,214,661 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 50,610.88 kilometers per hour. 
and that's 1,646.17 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,935,313 kilometers, and that's 45,085 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,878.54 kilometers per hour, and that's one kilometer per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 90.1 degrees, CM2 257.27 degrees, CM3 173.05 degrees. The time of this recording is 1.31 UTC on the 6th of March 2015. So thank you for subscribing and thank you to those who have subscribed and are watching. Enjoy reading and responding to any of your comments and questions and suggestions and I like to see all the images so you can send all of those to the email shown and until tomorrow I bid you peace